Hey guys and welcome to the video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer files from a Samsung Galaxy S6 through Wi-Fi. Now this, the purposes of the video is because I've got an S6 here which has actually got a failed USB port. So that means I can't actually charge it so I charge it through wireless. But having a failed USB port also means I can't transfer the files. So when you you, you know you look on Google how to transfer files plug in your phone drag the files across dead easy well it is easy if you've got a working USB port which I don't so I'm going to show you how to get the files off of the phone through Wi-Fi and this is how it's done so bring up your Play Store and the program you're looking for is Wi-Fi File Transfer FTP by the Best Developer Team. Now this app here is what you need to install. So we're just going to install it. There's a couple of gotchas that we need to look out for. So once it's installed, open it up. Get rid of the advert and you're presented with a big green start button. Now normally you would say, oh yeah, you jump straight in, press start and off you go. Well, don't, because it won't work. You need to go into settings. So first of all, you need to set your username, password and the port number. So I'm going to set the password to be the same. I'm going to leave the port at the default settings of 1122. Now, when you first press start, the port number should be 1122, which is what you've set. I have found sometimes this seems to default to 2121. So just make sure that that port there matches the port that is in your settings. So that's one of the things to check. So once you've done that, simply connect your FTP client to those details using the username and password that you've set um, and then you'll be able to browse the phone and then transfer the files. So let's test this out. So once you go over to your PC, uh, what you need to do is open up an FTP client. Now I'm going to be using FileZilla yeah. So head over to a browser, find that and download it. Now be careful with the prompts because it will try to install some, I wouldn't say malware, but you know what I mean. Apps that you don't particularly want. So let's untick that and also take the tick out of I agree here and also uh, take the tick out of there and say next and then let that install unless you want the apps of course so hit finish and then it'll open up so just make sure that it's running on your phone over in the top corner here, the host is the IP address that's shown on your phone. So we'll just type that in. So 192.168.1.112. The username is the one that you set in the settings. And also the password. And then also set the port which whatever port you set. So in this case it's 1122. And then hit quick connect. And there we go, we can now access my phone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a folder on here. So if you right click on your C drive, so you create a directory and we're gonna call it files.
here and double click on that. On the right hand side of your screen, so this bit, what you need to do is find the folder that is usually called SD card. Now different phones, different file structures, but usually it's SD card. And then scroll down, scroll down until you get to DCIM. This is where all your uh, pictures and movies are stored. You go over to camera, there's all your photos. So all you do is highlight them or highlight whatever you want to copy across or highlight them all. If you right click and then say download, what do you know? All the files transfer through Wi-Fi. So no need for a USB lead. I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, please give me a, a, a like or a comment, either positive or negative. Uh, I do uh, read and respond to as many comments as I can. And uh, until next time, see you later.